myopia or nearsightedness. If you remember, your eyeball for myopia is a little longer than usual. So as the light enters your eye, hits the surface, it gets bent, but it comes to a point prior to your retina or your nerve lining layer. It stops a little short. So what glasses and contact lenses do is change the way that light is bent as it enters your eye. And what we do with laser vision correction is change the actual shape of your cornea and so allowing it to bend light a little differently so that as light gets into your eye, it doesn't get bent as acutely, has a little farther to travel and then it hits you on the retina and you see clearly, okay? So what we do for LASIK is we create a little flap and we go to the stromal bend is what we call it. And this is something that doesn't change with time. It doesn't uh, get thicker or thinner with age. It stays a certain thickness. That's why this works so well and that's why it lasts forever because this tissue does not regenerate itself. What you get is what you have. And the, what we remove is removed and it doesn't come back, okay? So we create the flap, and for nearsightedness, we laser directly in the middle, and we flatten the cornea. We flip the flap back, and now when light enters the eye, it's not bent as sharply, it has a little farther to travel, and it comes to focus where it should be, on your retina, okay? Now, astigmatism is a big word, and everyone gets very concerned when they're told they have astigmatism, but almost everyone has a little bit of astigmatism if they have a correction. And what astigmatism means is in one plane of your eye, you bend light a little differently than you do everywhere else. If you have just astigmatism, when you're younger, you can kind of squint and get over it. But as you get older, that starts giving you a headache and you need to get into glasses. You could have nearsightedness with astigmatism, farsightedness with astigmatism. We could fix them both at the same time, okay? In this picture, the red illustrates the astigmatism and in that plane, it stops short. Everywhere else goes back to where it's supposed to be on the retina. So what we do is we evaluate and find the plane of your astigmatism, create that flap, and laser along that plane. Like I said, nearsighted and farsightedness can be fixed at the same time. And replace the flap. For farsightedness, the eyeball is a little shorter than normal. So by the time the light gets to the retina, it hasn't even come to a point. Theoretically, if it was allowed to travel farther, it'd come to a point behind your eye. So the way we do the laser is a little different. We laser out in the periphery. And what that does is it domes up your cornea, allows it to bend light a little bit more acutely, and it falls on the retina where you will be able to see clearly. Now this is for illustration purposes. You won't get a big dimple on the surface of your eye. You know, you'll be able to, uh, nobody will be able to tell you how this done.